Okay, so I already started a little bit on this. Um, this is going to be for the flywheel, obviously. Um, had a piece of aluminum round stock. I chucked it up here. I had already uh, put a face on it, uh, and I started laying, started parting it off. Uh, that's an awful long way to go with a parting tool. So I just started a groove where it's going to be cut at. This is a quarter inch right now. Uh, the plans call for between three sixteenths and a quarter inch. I'm starting at a quarter inch, and I'll probably um, I'll probably take some off of it. Give me a little bit of room to remove the hacksaw marks. And um, I already drilled a um, a uh, fifteen sixty four toll uh, into the center of the flywheel, and I'm going to come back. With my quarter inch reamer now, I put the I put the lathe in the back ears to slow it down substantially. So uh, let's get started. And I put it on this quarter inch mandrel, and I got it turning between centers with this uh, face plate, and this dog is going to turn the. Um, drive the um uh the your work here so i'm going to face this down to the three sixteenths of an inch and um i'll probably uh i'll probably cut i'll probably cut in uh the uh, recess uh this is uh it's going to be three sixteenths of of an inch thick on the outside hub the outside um a rim inside hub and then the inside um, where the spokes will be uh, is only um, a sixteenth of an inch so it's going to be um, hollowed out a bit on this side and on this side too so um, alright let's, uh, let, let's get started As innocent as this looks to turn, I've been having a lot of problem trying to turn this. I started off turning it between centers on this mandrel. I wasn't getting a good finish. And part, part of the problem is I think I was using carbide and the high speed steels give me a little bit better finish, I see. Um, the other thing is because of this raised part, the tool bits I have have this area here which once it gets in tight to the corner it starts to rub on this so the other this is the second side I'm doing now the first side I did this like this and then I finished up this this outer edge here I just put my boring bar on there and just came out and just cleaned this up and left a nice square shoulder on there so as a uh, unorthodox as this look I've been I've been pretty happy with the results overall so So the rotary table was centered with the spindle. The work was centered on the rotary table, which is also in line with the spindle. Now I moved the rotary table over 7 sixteenths of an inch, and I got to drill six quarter inch holes. Uh, that'll be the uh, that'll be the notch where the spoke will be. So it's 60 degrees for each hole. So I moved it 60 degrees and I'm going to drill another hole and I'm just going to keep going around until I get to the end. So.
six evenly spaced holes. So now I got to move it out to seven eighths of an inch and drill a series of eighth inch holes. Uh, this time I'll be drilling 12 of them and those will be the outer edges of the spokes. So I'll bring you back when I have that set up. All right, so this has got a little involved here with, uh, really wasn't too hard, but each, each quarter inch hole is 60 degrees apart. And then these eighth inch holes, these are going to be, if these are 60 apart, so then the center of the spoke was 30 degrees apart. So 30 and 30 is 60. So now to calculate this angle, this is inside that 30 degree angle by eighth of an inch. So with some um, simple trigonometry, uh, I calculated this out to be 8 degrees in like 12, uh, 12 minutes. So uh, I just called it 8 degrees. And um, what I went ahead and did is on the rotary table, I already, it goes from 0 to 180 twice. So I went and I added and subtracted. 8 degrees from every 30 degrees. So when it comes around, I know 22 degrees, stop, drill a hole. 38 degrees, stop, drill a hole. And I went around. So this way I don't have to figure anything out while I'm actually doing it. Everything's all planned out for me. So I already went ahead and center drilled everything. And I'm going to come back. I'll put the 8th inch drill bit in and drill out all of those holes. So it'll be a total of 12 more holes to drill out. I'll bring you back here in a couple of minutes.
so I have all these holes drilled and the outer slots milled out. So now I just got to mill out those ends there. All right. Well, I got to do some rearranging on this. And uh, when I get that all figured out, I'll bring you back. Well, all right. Um, don't know how well you can see this, but I tried to figure out the angle to cut these spokes because these spokes are tapered. And um, I kind of chased myself in circles uh, trying to figure out triangles and whatnot. And um, I'll be honest with you, all I did was I moved the Y axis in and rotated the table until until I got the magic combination of movement of the X uh, in the Y direction and in the angle I got some oddball angles I thought maybe once I seen on the rotary table I could figure it out but um, I just eyeballed it and I've cut almost all of them out I got a couple more to go and um, uh, sometimes uh, Something it's easy just to figure it out, eyeballing it. So, I saved a couple of... Uh, Just kind of lock it in there and bring this down so it just scrapes and just make sure we got where that's going to be. All right, that looks good. I'm just using the X tape, X axis just to go back and forth across. I think you guys get the idea. I got two more to go and I'll finish it up and we'll take a look at it when it's all done. Well, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So, uh, there's the flywheel, all done. And um, <laughs> I wish I could uh, be a little bit more uh, scientific on how I figured out 
the angle to cut those spokes out. But uh, I just eyeballed it and uh, came out pretty decent. Um, I cleaned it up with a file a little bit, got all the burrs off of it. And um, so uh, I must say, uh, out of all the pieces uh, so far, uh, the flywheel is uh, it's the most uh, challenging. So, uh, all right, well, got quite a few parts done so far. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going along and hope, to, hope you guys continue joining me here. And uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.